First and foremost, first and foremost, nice to have you back, Florian. Where have you been? <laughs> Where have I been? I'm at home, like everybody at the moment. It's quarantine oh, yeah. from Corona, right? That's true. That's true. Same same story here. I I thought you always worked from home anyway. Yeah, that's true. So for me, um, the situation is uh, not so much different as before. Um, yeah, but of course for my family. Yeah, they are at course. home as well. No school, no kindergarten. That's challenging. What about you? It is, yeah. Yeah, similar story. I mean, not much has changed in my working environment. Um, but uh, I think everything else around us has changed, isn't it? Like, we're, on, we're, we're all on lockdown for the time being. Yeah. But at least we can make videos. So that's, yeah, that's true. It's good, to, it's good just, to get back into the... Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm also trying to uh, to see the good thing in it. I mean, we... Um, we have uh, some time to um, to work at home, um, to work in the garden, and to spend time with family. In the end, we are forced to do that. There's no there's no option. Yeah. So no. why not? So how can we? Absolutely. Change? So I'm, I'm what, not what that used at? with the tool, um, by the way. Um, speakers view or gallery view? What's better? Gallery view shows us both of us. Probably that's nice. I've just changed mine to gallery view. I like that because I like to see myself in the mirror <laughs> as I'm walking past or like come back on myself, look at myself in the mirror and go, oh, okay. <laughs> That's the truth. That is the, I think everyone does to an extent and they should do anyway. Everyone should love themselves. Um, so what's, what's the, what's the ep episode about? And uh, yeah, what should we, what should what we, what we are uh, discussing today? Um, we are discussing today about email headers. I mean, we haven't done some episodes for quite a while and we need to get back into it. So we thought um, we are dealing with email all of the time and um, that, and uh, yeah, let's look into an email header because there's a lot of things um, that are in there that you might not know or probably you know, but who knows let's let's simply do that let's let's also look into it a little bit how isps can differentiate good mail and spam and a lot of decisions are taken because of the header information good yeah absolutely so who would you say this episode's for it could be for anyone really because i mean if you're if you're working in email you, you could uh, need to analyze a header even if you're perhaps a recipient it could be good to know where to check your headers to see what who sending you new what from where? So it yeah. could be for anyone, right? First of all, okay. it's for our subscribers. By the way, let's do a bit of statistics. 141 subscribers at the moment. We, we did that in, in the beginning. We didn't do that for a long time. Uh, 5,061 views of our channel. And um, yeah. Uh, so that that's good. First of all, we do that for, uh, for the subscribers. Um, I think it's probably relevant for everybody who has ever received an email and asked himself, why um, is this email in spam and the other one not? And um, yeah. yeah, let's let's check if it's, it's for curious people. So let, let me share screen and really just look yeah, at sure. it. So what I've Sounds done, good. I just said you didn't prepare headers but that's not a problem as usual look i turned up florian that's the main that's that's more than i've done in the last six months i've turned up i haven't i haven't been anywhere so you've been in quarantine for six months already i've been in quarantine for like nine months nine. self-isolation it's but it's good to be back yeah and uh, and i'm really happy that we continue with um deliverability tv Oh, watch a big Spurs um, um, cup. Yeah. How's Spurs doing? I, I I should, the, I should, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I probably should destroy it, if I'm honest. Um, no. <laughs> no. No, I like it. But there's a lot of things kicking off about football lately, and uh, I've tuned out of it. Well, how are Spurs doing? Well, they're all doing as good as each other because the, the league looks like it's going to be suspended. There's a big debate over um, should Liverpool be given the title? Um, where are they going to play the games? Are they going to play it behind closed doors? And I'll be honest with you, I've tuned out. I no longer really care about football. How about, should, how, how about Bo should Liverpool how about get the title? Um, not that I care, 
But if, let's say, let's say the league does not finish, they should get the title. Yeah. That is my opinion. And I think every, all the teams should be honest with each other and rivals. And it's, 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 it's beyond that. Um, it's not like, I mean, they were a bit of a juggernaut. They were slowing down anyway, but they were, I think there was how many games left? Nine games. And they were like 25 points clear, something like this. So, yeah, yeah I think I'd give them the, I'd give them the title. Yeah. I would, um, I would also say so. That would be fair because it's so unrealistic that anything else happens. Yeah, for Bochum, the situation is different. We are in um, 15th place. So I hope they won't continue the, the um, season so that uh, we can't go one down. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you're looking at the other end of the spectrum, yeah? <laughs> so you, you want to avoid relegation. I want to avoid um, all the terrible things that will happen because this year the team's... Um, yeah, it's uh, the team's not that good. And um, there was also a, a lot of points were lost in the very last minute. So it's a combination of bad luck and just poor football players i mean you you've seen that you've been in bochum and it was terrible it was yeah really, I, um, I must admit it wasn't the, the greatest game to go to but um it was good to experience uh, a german stadium yeah um and that, the lower that's leagues. also why uh, the, and probably that's the, the most important um reason why bochum should stay in the second division uh, once corona is over i would like to show you a real good game of bochum and um yeah. They exist. It's rare, but they exist. Okay, let's go I back to the so. let's go back to the um mail headers. By the way, probably we can add some um bookmarks um, um that uh, with Yeah. Uh, you know what? You I know mean. what? I I think you're right. Let's just go with the flow because I think all the time personally I was worried that it would be really choppy and stuff. The truth is, look, if we add value that's the main thing. And if, that's, and that's if all we, don't, about. we don't, anyway. we don't care. I mean, we do care. Well, I, I care. <laughs> I want to add that. Like, I don't want to just, I just, yeah, I want to watch my videos of myself. Okay. Let's start. Um, basteln. Basteln mit, mit Lego Technik and Mindstorms. It's a, it's a German um, uh, title. Uh, and uh, actually that's random. Uh, I just took, uh, picked, this one has just been on top of my mailbox. It's a mm -hmm. mail from Golem, which is like a tech magazine. I don't know. And and that's a normal newsletter. And if you click on the three dots and say show original. Show original. Then you see this or, nice over. Or, yeah. or original Nachricht. Nachricht. You can also click on, yeah, Nachricht. Na, Nachricht. Nachricht. Nachricht is a message. Original. Exactly. It's, uh, original uh, message. In fact, an email looks like that. That's how the email looks when it arrives at your mailbox. It contains a mail header. That's this part until here. Then it contains um, a free line. Line, yeah, free line. And then it starts with content. Usually it's that's content, HTML. Yeah. Lot of HTML. Lot, 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 lot. This is HTML. a Gmail. This is a Gmail header, yeah. So you've. Uh, no, oh, that, here's a question. Here's a question for you. It's original. The I'm going to play uh, devil's advocate. Not a devil's advocate. I'm going to play. Uh, anyway, <laughs> is it are all ed headers equal? Um. Um. Yeah, there's similar elements, um, but n not not each part is mandatory. So uh, let's let's start uh, with the mail header. Sure. So we 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 don't we don't care um, about the content for for now. That's an HTML mail and it is nearly unreadable from um, just my perspective here. Um, so let's start. First of all, we see the recipient address. Um, then we see. Uh, some routing information and uh, what we can see here is the date Friday 17th of April and what we also can see is this one which is an IPv6 address um, okay. 
most emails are still sent via IPv4, and then you see an IP address that you probably can read, and this is an IPv6 address. Yeah. Um, X Google SMTP source, that's an ID that probably just Google knows. Um, that's an information from the receiver. By the way, everything- I've got a question for you, Florian. Yes. Because, uh, uh, sorry, as, you, as we go through the headers, and we, I realize there's so many different elements to the header, it's, um, you know, it could, it could get quite complicated. But the main thing is it, they're all important elements of the header and uh, everything's important. What are the what are the really need to know things in a header? What would you say are really good point? Need to I know? already lost you, right? Um, so you did lose me a little bit. Really, I, I just wanted to um, explain it. So, I don't even work in email. <laughs> you no. are kind of. Um, so I know, first I am, of all, I am, everything of starting with X um, are um, so-called X header lines, and they can be added by the receiver. Or also by the sender, no, by the sender. The sender can uh, add as many of them as he wants and the names are free. So he can add whatever they, uh, they want. Um, also the re recipients. So what, what is important? It's important to know the date, of course. Then uh, in the end, it depends what you're looking um, at uh, in case uh, you're facing um, spam delivery, then you would check yeah. for everything pointing to spam. And that could be, for example, the authentication results. And we can see them here. And the authentication results are that SPF test was done valid. Yeah. Um, that means that the IP address 176.74.59.14 um, which is the sender IP address here, is allowed to send in the name of this domain, newsletter.golem.de. Um, yeah, and that's also the sending address, which can be seen here in the return pass, mm -hmm. and almost also in the from address. Golem.de is, um, uh, is the main domain of this yeah, technical sending domain, and in that sense, that's fine because it's um, it's in the same domain hierarchy. It's the same yeah. domain. So the deep, the deeper we go into the headers, the more we realize that it's all important. Would you say that's fair? That's <laughs> and I don't know if everything's really important. Um, it all means something. What what you look into it. This one, for example, is probably not important for a human, but it could be important for the mail client to know. That's correct. Um, the the char character set, how the the content has to be interpreted, if it's an ISO um, char set or UTF-8 or whatever. So that's probably more important for the tool to understand this one. Mm -hmm. The subject line is of course interesting. Uh, the recipient address is also interesting. Errors too. Have you ever seen that? Errors too. That's not one I've, of the I've common never ones, seen that. right? And this is yes. this is the beautiful thing about headers. You, it seems like unless you've got it all down, you learn something new every time about headers yeah. and how they work. Uh, what's quite common is a reply to a header to say, in case you want to reply, please answer um, uh, or reply to a different address. That's common, but errors too. Not often seen that. Precedence bulk. By the way, who no, defines I think that's old what school. is... Yeah, uh, uh, by the way, who defines what is allowed or what is not allowed? In the mail, the headers, well, I think the answer is the, the laws of the internet, which are the RFCs published, um, but having said that, I think you're important what you've come on to. I think each ISP, internet service provider, such as Google, they will, they will interpret, interpretate these rules differently. So yeah. you'll see that some headers have different consequences or some attributes in the headers have different con uh, consequences for other clients, as you put it. So it's a bit of a mix. There are fundamental rules the RFCs in place and then also each mail client and that's that's what makes our job I guess 
all the more exciting or challenging, should we say, um, just to learn about them. Yes, I agree. So who has never seen the ROCs, they look a bit old school like that. And um, there's a lot of RFCs about um, whatever, everything regarding email, internet, protocols, <clears throat> and so on. And they are described a lot in detail. Um, it's complicated and some um, servers misinterpret that or um, implement it in the wrong way or different ways. Uh, so there's always a lot of space for discussion, but in the end, the RFCs are um, the guides to follow. And just for email, there's probably more than 10 for all of the new technologies and so on. Okay, go. let's go to the next one. Scott, stop scrolling, because this one showed, uh, uh, Google always shows something like- a, the basics, right? So do yeah. they show, the, is that like the basics first and then? Yeah, probably that's the mo most important things. They just highlight that. And if you compare with the next one, you see the, here's a lot of, a lot more tests like SPF pass, DCAM pass, DMARC pass. In the first one, we didn't see that. And we d didn't see that because the mail um, doesn't provide DCAM and also doesn't provide DMARC that's missing. Here it is um, contained and the more authentication technologies, um, SPF, DCAM, DMARC you use, the better. And um, here you can also see that the mail content is formatted a little bit more structured and you can, uh, this looks like HTML. This, uh, I, I don't want to bash it, but that just looks like uh, auto-generated shit in my eyes. I mean, um, mm -hmm. of course there's a lot of- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't let that, I couldn't let that slip up without laughing. That's, no, uh, I mean- yeah, of course, that's uh, valid. Um, that's valid <laughs> um, design elements, but it's uh, just not structured. It's just generated, and um, you can see that this might be done by a human being, and that might be generated by uh, what you see is what you get. Um, don't know thing. Anyway, next one. Um, what we uh, I also uh, it's always the same with all those things. Oh, that's nice. Uh, it's it's about um, um, the um, diamonds, not about the women, by the way. That's a nice uh, newsletter that has also something interesting. <clears throat> this is from Yahoo. And this has a mm. Yahoo-related signal that looks very cryptic. But I suspect that there's a lot of secret information in it that would be interesting to know, but we don't have it. By the way, what is also, what can be seen here? List unsubscribe header. Mm -hmm. That's also good. That's a machine readable part of the unsubscribe link. So if you That's add great. that to the mail header, then the, the, the tools can um, already interpret that and use it. Could you show us? Could you show us what that does on screen, please, with your the, in the email? No idea. Is it right at the top of the email? Yeah, that's right at the top of the email. Unsubscribe. Yeah, scroll up. Yeah. Well, there's unsubscribe there, but also it should be at the top. Uh, hold up. Yeah. There you go. Look, unsubscribe right. there. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Okay. No, no. I just, I just thought that would be interesting to know. So, some elements in the header can be uh, visual. Yeah, that's good. That's uh, that's correct. And by the way, I also have a. Bad example. Uh, I have. I want to see all the examples. How That's long have we been on from the call for? From mail.ru, <laughs> and in this case, a lot more, almost everything's failing. We can see that here authentication results, SPF permanent error, and also DMARC is failing. So that's an email that is going into the spam folder because, yeah, okay, I can read it by us. I suspect it's nothing that you would like to receive and um, authentication fails. That's also why it's in spam folder. Yeah. Then I saw something interesting that's on GMX. Um, <laughs> attention, um, it's um, very important and urgent. And um, you can also directly see that because the font is um, 
uh, is uh, bigger Horrendous. and you use uh, highlightings and red color and uh, so that must be very important um, in such links uh, in such emails i would suggest not to click any link because uh, that's probably not leading you where you uh, where you um, think it leads to even not the unsubscribe link because also that if you check um, the URL on, on the bottom, it goes to some Russian page that you should maybe not trust. So don't do that. And the sending address is a Gmail address, probably also not that. Um, That's a good point to mention, is. Florian, yeah. Yeah. Good point to mention. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of euros going on in, the, in that e email. So I wouldn't touch that with a barge pole. Yeah, and if you see um, the header here, we see a spam flag, yes. And the filter results are all, um, yeah, also coded. Um, so the direct reason is not, um, um, uh, they, they don't tell you the direct reason, but there's a code, some, some sort of code. And in this case, if it's not that obvious that it's real spam, but you feel that your email is misinterpreted, then you can uh, contact, in this case, GMX, provide mm -hmm. this code and say, my mail is going into the spam folder by, but I'm pretty sure that it shouldn't be. And then uh, the GMX admins will be able to identify that could be helped. the yeah. email quite quickly based on that code and tell you what went wrong. Interesting. Can be used for they troubleshooting. Won't. Yeah. There's always also false positives that can be unveiled. That's so really, whilst you're taking a sip of your coffee, shall I sh share one of mine? Mm. Yeah, please. Please do so. So oh. I am. Which, which, co which coffee mug have you got, by the way? Is that a Christmas coffee mug? No, it's an owl. <laughs> an, a Christmas oh, owl. Oh, an owl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Christmas it's a Christmas owl. <laughs> oh, amazing! And actually, you know? it's uh, it's from my wife. I yeah, no, I lovely. took it from her. Yeah. So I end this, and I would also like to switch to the sauna. Oh, that's possible. So I've switched a little bit. So I'll just I'll get cracking. So I'll give you an example again. Gmail. Um, Let's just have a look at any old header. First and foremost, we, to find it in Gmail, you just go here, show original. You can spam my email address if you want. I don't really use it. Anyway, as Florian said, you get the basic mechanisms. Having a look at that. Can you see my screen, yeah? Yes. Good stuff. So first and foremost, you know the authentication methods are, are passing, which is always a good sign. To actually look into the header itself, um, I think it's good to have a declaration that actually it's all important and it means something. Um, but yeah, what's really the quick takeaways that we tend to look for quickly? Um, I would say IP address. Instantly, yeah. the IP address is what you're looking for as well. So of course, it said it said there um, received by Gmail. We can actually do a who is lookup, and we know where the IP is hosted. We have information about the high P. So, so that's always good because sometimes if you receive spam emails, you may see that the IP is hosted elsewhere uh, and it could have been part of a botnet. But uh, mm -hmm. maybe we'll cover some more advanced points in another, in another uh, video. And then also looking at DKIM, does it pass? This one passes relaxed. Um, we can dig what deeper on that. But that we so use typically... Yeah. Exactly, yeah. It's not a direct link. So we care about domain alignment. That means a lot in email. Um, so we're having a look at uh, domain alignment, DKIM, SPF. So you see SPF pass here, as we see. So IP, the sender from address, of course, um, return path, IP, authentication methods, I think are, are very important. And then we have this whole bunch of code at the bottom, which is basically the encoding well, Gmail has 
but it's actually the HTML content of the email. So you can copy and paste this into an editor and see what it actually looks like. Um, can you scroll up a bit? Here we sure. can see one one thing that's also very interesting. This is a multi-part message. Can you show the different parts? Scroll down a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Sure, sure. Here you can see. So that. here we go. Here's here's the here's the text part, the text version. So maybe we should say what a multi-part message is actually, or we can leave that for another. Yeah. The mind uh, mind type. Multi-part message means that you send the email in different versions within one email. The first part here is the text part, and the second part is the um, HTML part. And the text part looks a bit um, coded because it's um, it's uh, uh, coded in Base64. Um, there's encoders for Base64 as well. By the way, do you don't you have one in inboxes as well? Base 64 encoder. Yeah, so you could copy yeah, we paste. Did. Let's do that. Let's copy paste the message and, and uh, decode it. This one here, I think it stops there on that line. Yeah. So th that's just one sample. There's a lot of decoders um, um, everywhere, but here you can see that. So you can see that's that's in the end plain text and it's displayed like that um, to avoid problems with the encoding or also with the format and so on. You can um, encode it in base 64 um, yeah, and uh, decode it as well. Okay. Absolutely. So I'm just, I'm just trying to go back. By to the way, do you think it's still oh. a, um, important uh, to have a text version in email or not anymore? It is, yeah. I would say by default, you still still have it. Well, I'll tell you what, there's many reasons. It's not just the client. I think now with you know, threats and I guess the element is trust uh, and security, a lot of, I say a lot, probably a very small minority, um, the minority, uh, they sometimes get, uh, disable images in their emails and they only accept text uh, parts, so they can't be tracked. So I think it's very important if you just get the message across, you have to support all conditions. And yeah. even if you're, even if the outreach is two, mem two recipients extra, make sure that you're, you're ready and you're sending with mine, yeah. uh, with the mine part. I That's agree. my opinion. How about you? Yeah. I agree. We recently got an, um, a feedback from a postmaster who said, um, the, that the company policy forbids to uh, uh, to accept HTML emails, and he said if you don't send a text message with it, I have to delete the email completely. And the the bad thing about that is <clears throat> that you're not even aware that you received an email. So no matter what you put in the text part, you can also put in there um, um, this email doesn't make sense with text, um, please click on this link to view it, um, view the HTML version in a browser. Even if you just send that, it's better, better than nothing <clears throat> because it yeah. means that, that the email can at least be sent through. Yeah. Absolutely. But that's a bit out of, um, yeah, we, we, <laughs> we went a little yeah. bit outside of. So let's let's just let's just recap on what we what we went through with mail headers. Yep. So we've I think I think together we've established how you find them, roughly speaking, through Gmail. Um, what's what they are. What's important. What else should we know about email headers that we haven't that they already? exist? How to display them, and in case that you have a problem, uh, probably that's the most important thing about mail headers. In case you have a problem, make sure to copy the, the complete mail header of a sample mail, pass it over, because then the other side can easily help you. No matter if you d directly con contact an ISP or your email service provider, always um, copy paste one original mail header um, because it lets the experts understand a bit more what is going on and what is not. 
absolutely that's sound advice sound advice florian cool all right well i think that's that's good for message headers we can i'm ha happy to continue continue on uh we can yeah. talk about something else or um, yeah just just a bit um outlook so we already plan the next episodes. Uh, we have some um, guests also on the pipe. We would like to speak about um, message encryption in email and messengers. Uh, we have um, also, uh, also the situation in Italy and uh, not, all, not only about Corona, but also in terms of email. So there's some stuff um, coming up and uh, um, yeah. I think we don't need to wait another six months for the next episode. We are on fire now. Absolutely. I mean, we're, yeah, we're on fire. We're on lockdown and that's all we can do. So let's, you know, we've got another month. So let's see how many videos we can make and see how much value. I think it's all about value, yeah. how much value we can and a bit of fun along the way. And I like um, Zoom um, with the virtual backgrounds and, um, I think it's also an easy um, or, or will support us uh, to have some guests and um, yeah, I like that. So let's see. Sounds good. All right. What are you doing? Well, uh, for... um, yeah. Should I, should I just, should I, should I wrap it up and then we carry on talking? I don't know. Yeah. We, I, love, I love the awkwardness. So I'm not, I'm not used, I'm not used to the camera now. I'm like, Oh, get shy. <laughs> Okay, I would say um, stay safe and healthy, everybody, and see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Lauren. Same from me. Take care. Okay. On top of a mountain, we record Deliverability TV, Fantastic. the movie. We're doing it. Not We're, just an yes. episode, the movie. The movie. <laughs> My God, this is so good. We're 20 summers past, and they're both fast. We'll have a back in the satisfied, within my heart.